everyone! Welcome to my floss tube channel, Thread the Needle. My name is Vani and I live in Newfoundland, Canada. So this is my channel, uh, Thread the Needle, where I talk about all the things that I love about full coverage cross stitch. Uh, so if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, thanks for coming back. I am a day late on uh, making this video. Usually I make it uh, every two weeks or so on uh, Mondays, but to be perfectly honest, I had the reminder set in my phone because my life is such that if it's not in my phone, um, it doesn't get done. I mean, from the kids' schedule, my husband's schedule, my schedule, any reminders that I need, need for home, life, work, it's all in my phone. I don't know how people did it before they invented phones with reminder apps because I live on it. Even with that, I forgot. It completely slipped my mind. And you know, sometimes that's okay because clearly I had other stuff going on or you know, maybe life just decided that she can take a break. <laughs> so uh, I'm here today to give you an update on my projects and about stuff that's going on with my projects. So let's begin. Since the last time I was with you, <clears throat> I um, decided, well, I worked on uh, a few projects and it was going really, really well. And then um, life has gotten busy because I am very involved with our temple community here and we've got, it's festival season. And um, so we've got a lot of things coming up to prepare for it. So the next few weeks are gonna be a bit of a challenge, but I'm gonna do my best to get the right amount of stitching that I want to get in um, because it's what makes me happy, you know? So let's get right in there. Let's start with um, Mini Avarice. This is one of the reasons, this project is one of the reasons why I actually don't have as much progress as I would like because um, I was determined to finish the, the diagonal on this and it it's worth it. So it took me longer. I did not stop at the, you know, um, regular amount of stitches that I finish at before moving on to another project in my rotation. I just kept stitching and stitching and stitching. So it took me a few days longer than what it normally would to, uh, before I moved to another project in my diagonal. But needless to say, here is Mini, da Mini Avarice. And oh, she's just so lovely. I mean, the... Details are coming out more and more with this diagonal. And as you can see, I started, this is the page end or somewhere in this area is where the page ends on the bottom. So I've decided to start staggering the edge along here this way so I can keep going across the project. <clears throat> this is being stitched on 22 count, two over one full cross. All of the project details um, I used to do it when I first started floss tube. I would write out all the details of the projects in the um, description of the video. Um, and then I stopped, <clears throat> excuse me, I stopped doing that for a while, but I think I'm going to do it again because I've got a few newer viewers who maybe are not familiar with the projects that I'm working on. As you can tell, I am a huge fan of heaven and earth designs. All the projects you see here behind me are all uh, heaven and earth designs. We've got uh, prelude to a kiss, which I think is um, I think it's still on the website. If not, it's retired. Uh, that's by Josephine Wall. This is uh, my London piece. It's called I don't even know. I'm gonna get my list out of projects. I just have that many projects that I can't keep the names straight in my head. But this one is called Life is an Op Open Book London. Um, again, from Heaven Earth Designs. This one is also a very old one. This one is called... Oh, Mini Dragon Charmer. Really nice one. This one is one of my favorites. It's... Uh, why am I not? Oh yes, that's right. Golden Promises. One of my absolute favorites. I have enjoyed a lot working on this one. This one down here is Mini Little Dreamer's Tree. Um, and this one is Ayana, also a favorite of mine. And I'm making such good progress on them whenever they do come in my rotation. So I'm really enjoying that. 
Um, I like the way that I do my rotation. So for those of you who don't know, um, I put all of my whips into a rotation wheel. Uh, again, an app on my phone. And um, it selects for me which project I'm going to stitch on next. Once that project is selected, it boots it out of the wheel. So then I just keep going using the wheel until I have stitched all the projects and then I just restart it again. So um, that way it gives me a chance to work on all my projects. Um, it's, it's the best way because I can't choose a lot of the time that's, you know, and sometimes the wheel will pick something that I'm just not in the mood to stitch on. But if I persevere and I just put a few stitches in, I find that I, I get into it. So it's it's not too bad. I enjoy all of them in different ways, which I enjoy because they're all stitched on various different counts. Although looking at the projects behind me on the wall, I would say all of these are 22 count and this one is 18 count. Um, 18 is my favorite but 22 is for necessity's sake because a lot of the projects that I stitch on are so big that I didn't want to go too small. 25 count I've done and I'm doing a couple on 28 count can get very tiny and not as enjoyable because I don't like stitching with one strand of floss. So 22 I can get away with stitching two strands of floss. It can get tight in confetti heavy areas like this or this, this one is actually confetti heavy. Oh, um, oh, Josephine Wall is like filled with confetti. Like there isn't a square in there, like a 10 by 10 square that is not, does not have like a hundred different colors in it. But look at the detail you get. So it's all worth it. Um, so yeah, I love full coverage. So I love my rotation wheel, um, but I digress. I. Um, it took me so long and I didn't move on in my decision wheel until after I finished this because I was determined to complete that diagonal and I'm so happy that I did because it looks beautiful and I can't wait to keep going on. It's going to be so much fun. Next up is my um, one, two, three. Uh, how many do I have done in this one? Um, it's the birthstone series by uh, Rachel Anderson. Um, they're so pretty, these ladies, and they represent all the birthstones. Uh, anyway, here is where I am in QS Sapphire. It's coming along really nicely. And I was, the, you know, I was kind of getting into the mode of, oh, should I just finish that diagonal? And then I was like, nope, I got to move on to the next project. I got to move on to the next project. So I decided to do that. So here is QS Sapphire. We're getting into her hair and then I think down here her dress starts to appear so it's going to be so lovely. She is being stitched on again 22 count uh, two over one full cross. Such a joy to stitch. Absolute joy to stitch. If you're wondering what these these marks are here on my fabric I decided to do a little experiment and I tried I think it was coffee dye or tea dye can't smell the coffee or tea anymore, but just for some fun. Um, but anyway, it'll be stitched over. I didn't want to do too much, so I took it out of the dye very, very, very quickly because I was a little bit anxious and afraid. So anyway, it was just something fun to try on this piece of fabric, and it uh, it worked out. It just, you know, um, not as colorful as I would like, but it was still wonderful. Um, next up is Mini Moose Crossing. This is a lovely piece because it's so detailed and I love how the picture is coming out and I don't think I've, I think I completed the re required number of stitches before moving on, but I mean, just look at the detail that's coming out in that. I just love, it just looks very 3D to me, like the dimension of where the tree is and the leaves and, and, and all of it. So I can't even wait to get get to the rest of the project where the main star of it is, this moose, right? So I'm really looking forward to it. This one is done on 18 count, two over one full cross. I just find that very convenient to stitch on. I really do. I enjoy it a lot. So that's mini moose crossing. So that is all that I have to show you, except for one final thing that I'm gonna show you. Um, let's give you an update on my retreat. Unfortunately, my retreat got canceled 
So the original reason it got cancelled was because of a storm and because it was going to be on an island off of my island and it just wasn't safe for us to travel. And I understand that and, you know, of course everyone has to be safe. And then she gave an alternate weekend. A lot of the people who were going to go on the weekend I was going to go away couldn't make the new date. So she couldn't go ahead with it because it just wasn't enough people. I'm sad, but at the same time, I realize how busy my life is. So maybe now is not the time to go away for a full weekend uh, where I could be getting stuff done. So I'm okay with it. I've decided to roll with the punches and we're good. Um, it's middle of October now. Then uh, by the time I finish all the uh, festivity stuff at the temple, November should be rolling around in a few weeks. Then that means I have to get ready for Christmas. My Christmas stitching. I've got plans for Christmas. I'm going to be doing my videos every day, like last year, with the challenges and the special countdown coffee that I had. Um, I'll probably buy the exact same one that I bought last year because I haven't found another one um, that had 24 surprise flavors. Um, so if anybody knows of anything out there, please let me know. Um, I will also, I found something that I'm also super excited about. I found another countdown calendar to add to my coffees. It is um, uh, Wax Melt and um, it's advertised, it's on Etsy. Um, it's advertised to have a different Christmas related scent. I don't know if, how you can get 24 different related scents, but I'm sure there's a couple others mixed in there, but I think it sounds really cool and I'm looking forward to adding that. And... I will again this year be doing my gift exchange Christmas countdown with my knitting group. Um, for those of you who remember, um, last year we had a group of 12 friends, I think it was, and we all were tasked with creating 12 handmade gifts and providing 12 not too expensive bought gifts. Some who are very talented were able to do all 24 as um, handmade. Um, and then we distributed them as a surprise because they were all wrapped up. And then every day I got to open a gift from one of my friends. So it was the loveliest thing and it was so much fun and we all had so much fun. We're going to do it again this year. So I have to get cracking on my gifts that I'm going to use for the exchange. Uh, exciting. But I'm also working on a project for a very good friend of mine. Um, I don't think she watches. She knows about the channel and uh, she's watched maybe a couple uh, I think she follows me on Instagram, so you won't see me referencing or seeing any pictures of this on Instagram. Um, but I'm making a project for her. Um, she recently got married, like very recently. And I decided to, I wanted to make, I guess it's called a wedding announcement type of cross stitch. So this is actually so shockingly, surprisingly not a full coverage. Okay, so basically it is just a really pretty motif. And, and, um... So it's a really pretty motif and then I get to put their names in there and the date of their wedding. So here it is. I just picked a nice mushroom colored, um, it's uh, Ada cloth, and I picked a nice off-white white floss to use. And so this is what the motif design is going to be like. That's where the and is and then their names will go in front of and behind it and the uh, date of their wedding will go right here. So I'm working on that. I know she's already married, but she's going on her honeymoon and then she'll be back and I hope to have it ready for her uh, when she comes back and I think she's really gonna love it. So that's what I've been working on in the last little while. Um, I'm really looking forward to everything that's gonna be coming up in the next couple of months. Very much looking forward to Christmas and the videos. I gotta remember how I did all that. Um, those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, catch me up on Instagram. I'm at my stitch diary because that's where I put up my selections. Uh, you guys get to decide what I stitch on every day. And then, um, I think, yeah, that's how I did it. You get to pick what I stitch on every day and then I pull a challenge, uh, and we go along and it's just so much fun. So I can't wait to do it again this year and for you guys to participate with me because that was part of it to have you all there along with me on the uh, Christmas journey. It's always a fun, fun time. So thanks for uh, hanging out with me here today. And I can't wait until next time. 
I hope you have a great stitching day or night, wherever you are in the world. I wish you all the best. Bye.